Salutations, people of the internet. Thank you for checking out my video. I know at the time that this is going to be posted that the topic I'm talking about is totally irrelevant. Uh, nobody probably cares about Batman Arkham Knight anymore. But I really wanted to discuss this, and if not for anyone else to watch, well, let me just make this video just, just because I want to make a YouTube video. But uh, what I wanted to discuss was um, the re-release of Batman Arkham Knight on PC. And just, just how it was an abysmal launch that WB gave to the PC port. They showed us no love whatsoever. And people were pissed off. It was a good thing that uh, just at that time that they released this crappy port that Steam finally gave its users refunds and when people saw it was a bad um, port, they refunded it and WB had to kick up money to Valve just to put their port onto, um, onto uh, the Steam <laughs> and uh, they lost money. They put up a per percentage to put their game on Steam, and they lost money, and they were losing money, so they pulled the game from Steam, it blew up in their faces, and it hit them where they hurt. And right on, that, that was a win for the gaming community. You know, in any other place besides gaming, where would you accept a broken product, either keep it, or return it. it. It has no value to you if it's broken. If someone sold you a broken car, either you're you're gonna fix it, or you had the intention of buying a fully functional car. That having a broken car is not an option after you've paid money for it. Maybe that was a bad example, but any other any anything that you buy is broken. You don't want it. You're you're gonna return it. You want it back. But here, they expect you to keep the game and. Some people did, they, they love gaming that much, but let's fast forward to the current time and they released the first patch in September after they pulled the game. Now I so badly wanted to play this game that I went out and purchased it as soon as I heard they fixed the patch. And um, it worked for me. It was a fun experience. I'm glad it was a working game. I have. No beef against Rocksteady, and it's, it's just a good game. But a lot of people, even after the patch, were still having problems with the game. The game still wasn't running for them. Um, and uh, Rocksteady took the L on that. They provided compensation in the form of every single Arkham game in the series is being uh, will be given to people that still have the Arkham Knight all free for download possibly in December and a lot of the a lot of the people who have made it up to this point as Arkham Knight's the third in the trilogy have already played those games have ar already owned those games on on Steam and have no need for these free games So, who's to blame for this debacle? Do we blame Iron Galaxy, the third party developer, who I guess Rocksteady or Warner Brothers hired to finish the game for uh, the PC port? I don't really think so. They're more like um, a hired gun. You know, they weren't fully invested into this venture, but you know, they got paid to do a job and they did it, and they did it as best as they could with the little time that they had. Do we blame Rocksteady? Um, yes and no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to argue for no because their developer who committed to developing this game for next gen, and they didn't have time to develop for the PC. It wasn't the PC community was not their target audience. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One was. And 
that's why they just kind of pass it off to like Iron Galaxy. Like, here, you finish the port. We're, we we want to make money, but we have no time for this shit. Um, do you blame Warner Brothers? Uh, the um, oh, I'm trying to figure out the word here. The publisher. Yes, yes, blame Warner Brothers. These are the type of people and the CEOs of this company who don't understand gaming and have kind of brought the business of gaming to stuff that happens like with Arkham Knight. It got teared apart on PC as the worst port ever. It, it was a worst port. I saw footage of people like it, it was a crappy port. You had to have a good system to even run it. But yes. Warner Brothers is totally responsible for this debacle. And and the funny thing is, they release a bad port on PC like Mortal Kombat. They, re they release a good port on PC like Mad Max. I guess it really depends on the developer and Warner Brothers has nothing to do with it. But they knew that this game was broken and they shipped it out anyways. So how can we remedy this situation? What are the solutions to fixing the current state of gaming? And yes, it does have to do with you. You can be part of the solution. I can be part of the solution. And the various things that I've heard are don't pre-order games. And with uh, bad launches like Arkham Knight and, you know, Assassin's Creed Unity, it's probably a good idea not to pre-order games. That let them work out the bugs first. It, it seems to have become standard practice to release a broken game and fix it later. Fix it later with a patch. He's gone Why would you release it if it's broken? Barbara. Uh, vote with your wallet. Be conscientious of companies that have these kind of practices. That don't... They, they show with their actions that they don't really care about you. And if you take a note of it, if you're aware of it, you know who not to support and who not to buy games off. But the last part where I said you are part of the solution, you are also part of the problem. I am part of the problem. I went out of my way to buy Arkham Knight even though I knew it was broken. I, I really didn't have another alternative. It was either get it on PC or upgrade to current gen. And I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to upgrade to current gen. And even though Warner Brothers actions told me that they... They don't care about me, they just want my money. I still went and bought this game because my desire to play this game was that strong. It didn't matter to me that Warner Brothers released the broken game. I went and bought it anyways. I'm a fan of the series and I really wanted to play it. And it's it's that desire that we have to we have to beat to defeat these companies. They know they create that desire and it starts with us. It starts with us. You know, as badly as we want to play this game, if we're getting treated like shit, are you going to make that decision not to play the game based solely on the principle? It kind of goes against your other mindset of being a gamer. But yes, we have to make decisions like this nowadays, and it's, it's sad. But this is the way things are, and if we want to actively affect change, this is what we have to do. But, uh... Thank you for viewing my video. Please engage me in the comment sections. I'm new to this and I'm hungry to engage you. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.